was the protein source that met this demand. Soy is a great animal feed crop. So soybean meal has, has around 45% food protein, give or take. It has an excellent amino acid profile and it has minimal anti-nutritional properties. So as meat consumption increased, firstly in North America and in Europe, farmers started planting millions of hectares of soybeans. Uh, we went from a situation in 1900 where there was very little production of soy worldwide and the soy that was produced was almost entirely in Asia where it's, it's a native crop. And then by 2018, global production of soybeans was around 350 million tonnes, which used about 125 million hectares. Today, 80% of global soy production comes from only three countries, which is the US, Brazil and Argentina. And this slide here is showing us how, how that soy area in those three major countries has increased since 1980. We can see that the increases have been highest in Argentina and the most rapid increases occurred in Brazil. This is a picture of the most important crop you've probably never heard of. We think that this plant, Lemna, will play an important role in solving this challenge. Lemna is a floating macrophyte. It's part of, you know, part of the duckweed family of aquatic plants. We see it floating beautifully in some water here. It matters because it's high in protein. Uh, it's also one of the world's fastest growing plants. It doubles its biomass approximately once every two days. Dry grow started as an idea from at the University of Oxford in 2015. Lemna as a crop looked promising and we began exploring its application as a replacement for soybean meal. We use a combination of plant science and engineering to develop industrial scale production methods. We are currently around halfway through the construction of a pilot facility in Kenya, where we're aiming to prove our model and get ready for expansion to into industrial scale. We're using a controlled environment system to grow lemna in a raceway. We can produce lemna with a similar protein content and a similar amino acid profile to soybean meal. Thanks to our enclosed system, we can recycle our water, which enables us to produce protein using around 1% of the water that's required by soybeans. And since lemna grows incredibly quickly, we also use only around 10% of the land that would be required by soybeans. And the land that we use does not need to be arable. So that resource efficiency means that we can produce high quality animal feed ingredients all year round, in countries that currently rely on imports of soybean meal. Start spreading the news. I